Hey guys and gals, this is Mr. Downey, a teacher from the Coca-Cola Space Science Center, back to bring you another activity you can do from the safety and comfort of your home. Now, this past weekend was Easter, and if you're like me, you didn't get the satisfaction of hunting as many Easter eggs as you would have liked. So today, I'm going to give you the chance to do a different kind of hunt, a scavenger hunt. And on this hunt, you are going to be taking the solar system and scaling it down and shrinking it down so that Earth is the size of this. All right, so before we actually get to the scavenger hunt, let's talk real quickly about how it's possible to shrink the solar system down so Earth is the size of a tennis ball. Now, when you shrink things down, you have to do it proportionally. That means equally. So Disney actually came out with a new movie recently called Onward, and they used a great example of this when they take a gas can and they try to expand it to get more gas so that they can fill up the fuel tank of their car. So when they expand the gas tank, not only do they make it larger, but the fuel that was inside the gas tank expanded with it. So they had more fuel uh, when they made it larger. This is similar to what we're doing today, where we're taking Earth, shrinking it down to the size of the tennis ball, and we're taking all the other planets and shrinking them down this same amount that we would Earth. Okay, so in order to do this, we have to set up a proportion. And if you haven't had sixth grade math yet, you probably have no idea what a proportion is. So let's take it quickly one step at a time. All right, so to set up a proportion, the first thing you need is a ratio. A ratio is just setting two things equal to each other. So in this case, we're setting two things about Earth's diameter equal to each other. So the real diameter of Earth is actually 7,918 miles. So now that we know the real diameter of Earth, which is the distance across the long, or widest part of a circle. Next thing you're going to do is compare that to something that you want to shrink the Earth down to. So in our case, we're going to use the diameter of a tennis ball, which is about three inches. So this is our comparison of Earth diameter to Earth diameter. Three inches tennis ball, real diameter in miles. Now the next thing you're going to do is take this ratio and set it equal to another ratio. In this case, another planet. So we're going to scroll down here, and you can see we have our same Earth ratio, 3 inches, and we're going to set that equal to a new planet. Now, we know the, uh, the diameter of other planets. So in this case, whatever planet you chose, Mars, Neptune, etc., you would put the real diameter in miles down here, and that would allow us to find how wide it is in inches up here. All right, so now we know that if you have a calculator and Google to look up the diameter of the other planets in miles, it's actually pretty easy to find out what their real size in inches would be so that you could compare it to something around the house. But I want you to try and do this without actually looking it up ahead of time because this is kind of a scavenger hunt type game where you're doing this based on what you know. So I want you to go around the house and I want you to find objects that you think would be about the same size as the other planets. You know you have Earth as the comparison for the tennis ball, but now you need to find seven other objects that relate to the other seven planets. Now, I know that's not common knowledge to know what size the other planets are in relation to themselves. So if you don't know which planets are larger or smaller than Earth, in just a moment, I'm going to put up a picture showing you what the size order is from largest to smallest. So you can use this as kind of like a cheat or a hint to help you out when you're looking for objects around the house. All right, so once again, don't think of it as having to be a round object. You can take anything and think about the diameter of the planet, the width all the way across it, and make that your object that you think is the comparative size. For example, this tape dispenser here is obviously not very round, but it could be thought of as this length all the way across the tape dispenser is the same diameter as Jupiter, Mercury, or any other planet that you think this would be the correct scale size of. Now, I'm getting ready to show the order uh, of the planets in terms of their size, and this is the hint. So if you do not want to see this, then go ahead and pause the video until you complete your scavenger hunt, and you can check back for the real answer. So here is the list of the planets in order from largest to smallest. As you can see, Earth is pretty far down towards the bottom. That's the one that we said was the size of a tennis ball. So using that logic, anything smaller than the Earth, which would be Venus, Mars, and Mercury, would also therefore need to be smaller than a tennis ball. 
Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, and Jupiter are gas planets, which are obviously larger. So when you're finding objects for them, you definitely want them to be larger than a tennis ball. So try and put them in order, and you can add some labels if you want. And we will see how close you came to the correct answer for our scale size solar system. All right, guys, it is time for the final answer. So when we go over these answers, we are not going to be going in the order of the planets and their distance from the sun, but rather how large they are. So we will be going smallest to largest. So obviously, if you saw the hint and already knew this, you know that Mercury is our starting position. So starting with Mercury. On a scale, if Earth was the size of a tennis ball, Mercury would be about 1.1 inches, making it about the size of a quarter. Moving on, next largest would be Mars at about 1.6 inches. So here you see I used a potato chip clip, but it's not the long length that I'm looking for, but rather the length of the bottom part of the potato chip here. So you can see that it's just slightly larger than the size of Mercury. Moving on, next would be Venus at 2.8 inches. Here you're looking at about the distance across the can here. So that's pretty close to 2.8 inches. And if you noticed, that's very close to the size of Earth at 3 inches. So Venus is just a little bit smaller than the size of Earth. Up next, we go to our gas giants. Neptune is actually the smallest of the gas giants. At about 11.6 inches, you're looking at about the length of a sheet of paper. Up next is Uranus at about 12 inches. So for me, my dinner plate here is a roughly about 12 inches. And notice they are pretty close in size, Neptune and Uranus. After that, we have Saturn, the ringed planet. Not counting the rings, of course. So for this, I actually had to use a poker from a fireplace. So at 27.5 inches, that's about what you're looking at in terms of Saturn size. And finally, Jupiter. Even on this scale, Jupiter is quite large. So the closest thing I could find to about 33 inches was my back door so going all the way across from one side to the other this makes it the largest planet at about 33 inches all right so that brings us to the end of the activity did any of the planets surprise you were you close to any of them one thing i want you to think about is some of you may be asking why didn't we talk about the distances because if you're scaling down the size of the planets you could do the distances as well think about this even though we scaled down the planets that small, the distances would still be ridiculously huge on this scale. We would be looking at a thousands, a couple, a couple cases, a hundreds of feet apart from each other. So we would need quite a long stretch of open area in order to measure the distances, but something you could still do. And take a look at a link down below where you can kind of play with some of these distances your own with an online resource. So I hope you had fun. And thanks for watching, and I hope you check out some more of our activities along the way.